Junior. Nice catch. That car was wrecked, it just didn't know it. Schaefer Jr. up to fifth place. Check her out. Underneath Romp and Rich Harper. Checkered flag. Gary Schaefer Jr. pulls off a fourth place finish after coming all the way from the tail end of that main event. Here's your winner. time for a trophy dash for one of my favorite divisions here at the racetrack it's the pure stocks of Stockton in the number one car from Lodi that's Michael Went in the 96 car part of the racing Schaefer family from here in Stockton California Gary Schaefer Jr. and all the way from Lodi in the 31 car Jeff Hall Coming to us from Valley Springs, California, in the 21 car, that's Tom Bolin. Gary Schaefer Jr. is on the pole, Michael Wentz on the outside, Jeff Hall's on the inside, second row, and Tom Bolin's on the outside. They're all ready. Mark Bensalette is ready. Start. That is picture perfect. Those boys got it off. Got it going on. A little pump and rub going into turn three. A little more pump and rub right in the middle of three and four. Remember, these are our top point contenders, our top four point contenders. Let's talk about the spread here. See where we're at. Jeff Alls in the lead with 560 points. Michael Wentz behind him with 543. Uh, that's less than 20 points, you see, according to my calculations. I went to the Jethro Bodine School of Ciphering. Third place here, Gary Schaefer Jr. with 535 points. And Tom Bolin has 474 points. Check your program if my autograph is on the autograph page. Come on up, we've got some good stuff for you, courtesy of 3M. Schaefer Jr., there he is, followed by Tom Dolph, or excuse me, followed by Jeff Hall, followed by Tom Dahl, and in fourth place, the number one car, Michael Wint. American Modifieds and tonight in the number two car from series Greg Williams in the 10 car from Citrus Heights Jay Lindstroth in the 39 car from Stockton he's a wild crazy kid he's Chris Mays 
And in the five car, he's from Sacramento, Jason Philpott. Get ready for laps of Grand American Modified Trophy Dash action. Here's your winner, Jay Lindstroth. Followed by Jason Philpott. Third place, the number two car, Greg Williams. And in fourth place, the number 39 car, the wild and crazy kid from Stockton, Chris Mays. Now it's time to do a little truck racing here at Stockton Speedway in the 27 truck from Saratoga. That's Kerry Miller. In the 14 truck from Manteca, that's Gary Franks. In the 81 truck from Rohnert Park, Brett Barney. And in the 5 truck tonight from Riverbank, Todd Lewis. puts the whooping on the rest of the field for tonight's Pro 4 Truck Division Trophy Dash. He's followed by the 27 truck of Kerry Miller, followed by the 14 truck of Gary Franks, and followed by the number 5 truck Todd Lewis. dash time for the Western late models. They are drawing numbers to determine their starting position on the grid. In the meantime, I'll tell you who's in those race cars. The 05 car, all the way from Roseville, that's Eric Schmidt. The 74 car. This driver has many championships here at Stockton Speedway, including one last year in this division. He's from Modesto, a seasoned veteran here at Stockton 99 Speedway, and one heck of a nice guy. That's hard charge and Harry Boletto. Yeah. 
in the number nine car, another old racing buddy of mine. It was really cool when I could read the newspaper the next day and come out in front of those guys, come out ahead. The guy in the nine cars from Pacific Grove, he's Dave Burt. And a new and upcoming superstar in this division. He's from Stockton. He's in the five car. He's known as Speed Racer. That's Pete Anderson, Jr. Untouchable in his trophy dash for the Western Late Models. Followed by the 05 car of Eric Smith, followed by the 74 car of Harry Belletto, and followed by the number five car of Pete Anderson Jr. Here's, uh, Brent, the second trophy dash win for tonight. Congratulations, Brent. You had a good run there. Could you uh, tell us about how you enjoy running this uh, Pro 4 truck division? Oh, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, it's great. It's uh, real competitive and, and everything's real close and tight together and all the drivers are real real good drivers and uh, we all try and uh, keep it clean. Well, you guys got a strong field. I know you guys have been building this division up, but uh, tonight you guys have showed up with uh, definitely a high number of uh, cars, higher than any other division, and uh, that's really great to see. And uh, what's your plans uh, for the future in this division? Well, I'd like to keep racing it, and um, hopefully we can get a lot, bunch more out here. Uh, just like to get, see a bunch more trucks come out so we can uh, make the field as big as we can get it. Well, that sounds great. Congratulations, and uh, could you tell the fans where you're going to be starting in the main event? I am starting fourth. Well, that sounds great. Outside second row. That's a great position, and I uh, look forward to you uh, having a great finish in the main. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Brent. Excuse me. Mr. Excitement, Jay Lindstrom. I know you had several Trophy Dash wins. I don't remember exactly how many, but uh, had another good start tonight and uh, got out front there. I know you were saying earlier the track conditions had changed a little bit and the temperature changed, and uh, when you qualified, you were off a little bit. But uh, what's your plans for the main? Are you going to adjust the car a little bit for it? Uh, I'll leave that up to my crew chief, Dan. He does everything. Uh, been doing good, so I'll leave that up to him, and I'll just give it the gas, and hopefully everything turns out. I don't get no bad luck. But uh, I really want to take the time to thank my fans that have been coming out and, and A Echo Concrete and Construction, John Moore and Carl Moore. They helped me out a lot, and uh, all my sponsors. I want to thank them. I just stay out of trouble. Well, that sounds great. Um, one thing uh, I just wanted you to inform the fans on your number, you have a 10 and an A. Could you tell the fans what the A stands for and what the reason for that is? Yeah, we use the A to identify the uh, fuel you run, and we run alcohol, so if something happens, they know how to put out the fire with alcohol and instead of the gasoline. So the A is for A, and hopefully it uh, gives me good luck for something down the road. I don't know. A plus. There you go. Well, congratulations, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the main, Jay. Gary. We're with Mr. Schaefer. He's been in the victory lines so many times he left already on us. But uh, congratulations, you had a great run there. And uh, could you tell us how your car is handling? I know you guys rebuilt this car a few weeks ago and have had great luck so far. Can you tell us about uh, how it's handling tonight? The uh, car's working real good right now. Uh, we worked the bugs out of it finally. And uh, I think we got something for him. We'll see. Uh, sounds great, and I uh, wish you the best of luck in the main event. 
Oh yeah. You want me? Yeah, go, go get him. Now, the B main event for my favorite division here at the racetrack. It's the Pure Stocks of Stockton. On the pole in the 41 cars, Ron Greemeyer. On the outside, Ron Greemeyer in 32 car from Antica, Jacob Cardoza. In the 29 car from Stockton, that's duct tape, Dave Ball. In the number 68 car from Stockton, that's Ray Bird. In the 49 car, he's from Stockton, that's Chet Hopkins. In the number 44 car, from Stockton, John Beard. In the number 25 car, from Angels Camp, Tony Smith. In the 68 car, from Stockton, Steve Bryant. In the 48 car, from Napa, Kurt White. And in the 5X car, from Valley Springs, Roy Worth. Here we go, B-Main event. Ron Greemeyer on the pole. Outside is Jacob Cardoza. Jacob Cardoza way out there sideways off of turn four. He's having way too much fun this afternoon. That's what you call testing the Yahoo factor. Jacob Cardoza testing the Yahoo factor all the way down the back stretch into turn three with a commanding lead over the rest of the field. Ron Greemeyer second place. Duct tape, Dave Paul runs up, takes the air off the spotter of the 41 car. Duct tape, Dave takes a look on the outside off of turn two. That's the narrowest turn on the racetrack. Greemeyer falling off the pace. and enrolling with the B main event for the Pierce Stocks. Jacob Cardoza is showing them how it's done. My information serves me correct. Jacob is only about 16 years old. Just turned 16 a few months back.
Jacob Cardoza virtually untouchable out there as he brings this thing to an end. White flags in the air, just a few turns left. Jacob Cardoza, Dave Ball. There's your four transferees to the main event. Once again, your winner in the 32 card, Jacob Cardoza. Second place, duct tape, Dave Ball. Third place, Ray Bird. And fourth place, the number 49 card of Chet Hopkins from Stockton. Four trucks on the starting grid. This is their main event. From Manteca in the number 10 truck, Dave Wright. In the number four truck, from Tracy, Brandon Trevathan. In the number five truck, from Melpitas, Ron Robeck. In the 81 truck, your trophy dash winner for tonight from Ronert Park, Brett Barney. In the number 14 truck, from Manteca, California, Gary Franks in the number 27 truck. She's from Saratoga. That's Carrie Miller in the 71 truck. From Tracy, Randy Jehoda in the zero truck. From Manteca, that's Michael Brooks in the three truck. From Milpitas, Ron Robeck in the number 48 truck. From Lodi, Mike Curry and in the number 22 truck from San Leandro, that's Dominic Primetime Lopez. See if he can pull it off. Yes, I believe he did. Look at this. Kerry Miller wants some of the action. Kerry <laughs> Miller and Gary Franks is in the mix now. Check them out.
Gary Franks puts the move on the number four truck off the of turn two, slides under there, slings it on down the back stretch for second place. Gary Miller is now in third place. Brandon Trevithan in the four truck falling desperately off the pace. Close call off of turn number four. Very close calls. We have a couple of trucks tangled coming off of turn four. That could have been ugly. back there on the back stretch along with the Ford truck of Brandon Trevithan. What's going on? This racetrack is gobbling up four, four, four trucks. Gary Franks was black flagged off the racetrack for one reason or the other that I couldn't tell you exactly what for at this time. However, your leader's in the 81 truck, Brent Barney.
Michael Brooks is on the board with four laps left. We can see if he can do anything with that number 10 truck. Brad Barney's still your leader. Randy Johota in second place. There he goes, the zero truck mid. There goes the 10 truck. Dave Wright pulling off the racetrack. With just a couple of laps left, Michael Brooks sets his sights on the 71 truck of Randy Jehoda. Let's see if he can get it done. Michael Brooks wants another position. White flags in the air. There's your winner in the 81 truck, Brett Barney. And followed by the 71 truck of Randy Jehoda in second place. Third place, the number zero truck of Michael Brooks. And in fourth place, it's the number three truck of Ron Robeck. Two car from series brought to you by Racecraft Race Cars, KC Drywall, Ricardo Rubio Motors, BWM Powder Coatings, Kramer's Garage, and Ferrari Farms. That's Greg Williams. And the number 10 car, he's from Citrus Heights. He's brought to you by G Glenn Plastering, Harris Industrial Gases, Eagle Supply Company, U.S. Powder Coating, CDB Homes, Ward and Ward Farm. Hargis Construction Custom Homes, Mike's Paint and Body, AECCO Construction, and special thanks to Carl Moore. That's Jay Lindstroth. In the 39 car, he's a wild and crazy kid. He's from right here in Stockton, California. He's brought to you by STS. Stockton Wheel, Paws Performance Center, The Shamrock of Tracy, All-American Mailbox Rental, Kiger Powder Coating, Miracle Auto Body, RAC Motorsports, Five Star Supply, Tracy Welding Supply, and special thanks to Grandma and Grandpa and his good buddy Nick Webb, that's Chris Mays. In the number five car, he's from our state capital. He's brought to you by Winds, the Galt Frosty, Pro Farms Equestrian Center, the world famous Cook's Racing Pigs, FRE, Superior Sunrooms and Patio Covers, Elk Grove Jeep Chrysler Ford, and Great Valley Auto Center. Put your hands together for Jason Philpott. In the number 34 car, He's from Newark. He's brought to you by Napa Auto Parts in Newark and Mom and Dad. That's Ted Montag, the fourth. In the number three car, he's from Stockton. He's brought to you by Chuck's Hamburgers, Home Loan Solutions, Brian's Floor Care Service, JM Seal Coat and Paving, Alliance Title, Doherty Properties, and Dave and Claudia Fortney. Give it up for Joey Stearns. And in the number 11 car, brought to you by Boyd Enterprises, Henning Brothers Drilling Company, Friendly Chevrolet, Kurt Hughes Dodge, Delta Signs, Anya Construction, Mountain Mike's Pizza, Jerry Joy Concrete, Reliable Racing Products, NorCal Battery, American Residential Mortgage, Reliable Concrete Pumping, and Styles Truck and Body, that's Stuart Cullum. That's your main event for the Grand American Modifieds.
is your Grand American Modified winner tonight. Greg Williams is in second place. The five car of Jason Philpott is in third place and in fourth place. The 39 car of Chris Mays. Wayne, we got uh, Dave Bird. He's starting in the uh, fourth position here. And anyway, we want to congratulate you for winning the Trophy Dash. And uh, we know we uh, missed you for a few weeks there. You guys had to uh, go back and uh, totally rebuild this car and come out with a new color. And it uh, looks like it's handling awesome tonight. Could you uh, tell us about how it feels to drive this uh, new machine? It actually, it actually feels as good as ever. We, uh, we tested yesterday. <clears throat> and after about the second time out, it was good to go. Uh, the Schaefer's, Marty, Cliff, everybody, they uh, they worked on it every night for three weeks and um, put a lot of time and effort into it and they got it perfect and so we'll see, we'll see how we do with the track, you know it changes all night long but the um, car really feels like it can race so I'm happy and uh, we'll just see what happens. Well, it sounds great. I know uh, if anybody can put it to the front, we know you can. And uh, also, uh, just wanted to uh, let you uh, have the opportunity to tell the crowd that uh, Jackie Gillette is recovering uh, from a surgery. And if you could tell us about that just briefly. Yeah, she had surgery yesterday on her hand, and she's in a lot of pain. And uh, I know she must be hurting because she's not out here. And, uh, but uh, hopefully we can get her a good finish and give her some good news. Call her after the race. Well, thank you very much, Dave, and uh, best wishes uh, to have a strong finish tonight. Thanks, Bruce. Hit us start with driver introductions. How about it? In the number two car, he's from Turlock. Brought to you by Paul Doherty Motorsports, Boleto Auto Glass, Central Valley Sunrooms, Esco Caterpillar Repair, Vandapool Enterprises, Salisbury's Market, Top Canine, Boogie Built Trailers. Henley's and Big Oak Flat, Riverside Truck Salvage, Hotwood, The Bronze Body, Motor by Earl, Rear Ends by Barry, HTCD Hughes Transportation, Jan's Gardening, and special thanks to Glenn Doherty Sr., that's Wes Miller. And we're going to get a short interview with uh, Bruce Cunningham and John Moore after he smacked that turn three abutment last week. Smacked it a ton. I was lucky enough to talk to John earlier today. Now uh, you, the fans in the stands, can hear it firsthand. Well, John, John Moore. I know you had a uh, very difficult uh, past three weeks and uh, tore up some race cars that we don't like to see and I know last week you had a horrendous hit down there uh, on the exit gate and we're so happy to see that you're back. Uh, I know the fans are great to see you back. I know you're in a different car but uh, I know your wife and kids are here and I know your wife's very concerned about your uh, condition and wishes that um, wishes you the best and hopes that uh, we won't uh, end up with no repeat performance of the past uh, three races and we definitely don't want that but uh, could you tell us how you've been feeling? Oh, I feel good, Bruce. I'm glad to be here. Uh, I got some good friends here. Uh, Chris and Rebecca Monez were nice enough to let me drive their car until mine gets finished. Uh, mine's in the shop right now, getting all all prettied up to bring out here and look good in a couple weeks. And uh, I'm glad to see that uh, Dave Dave Bird's feeling good after he took that nasty hit uh, a couple weeks ago. Glad to see him back. Uh, we're both uh, dedicated race car drivers who like to come here and put on a good show for everybody, and that, that's what we're all about. Well, that sounds great. We're really um, happy to see after both Dave and you took a hard hit a few weeks back as well. And uh, I know you both are having suffering from some sternum uh, pain, but uh, it's great to see both of you guys out. And uh, we wish you a strong finish tonight, John. Thanks a lot, Bruce. We're going to have a good time. Back to you, Wayne. Thank you very much, Bruce Cunningham and John Moore. Let's talk about who brings you John Moore. He is brought to you by JM Environmental, ALCO Environmental Construction. 
Wenzel Fabrication, Welch Motorsports, Vice's Auto Collision, and Seal Sign from Granite Bay, Superman John Moore. In the number five car, he's one of the up and coming stars of this division. Former Enduro champion. He's from Stockton. He's brought to you by JM Seal Coat and Paving, Tom Mayo Construction, Genova Bakery, Walgreens, Mike's Tire, Miracle Auto Body, HP Engine and Machine, A1 Transmissions, Monogram Magic, American Heavy Equipment Services Incorporated, Larry's Auto Repair, and special thanks to Tim Geary and John and Stacy Medina. That's Pete Anderson Jr. And in the number nine car, I love that old paint scheme. That uh, reminds me of years back. Looks pretty cool. My hat's off to the uh, Schaefer family. In that car, he's from Pacific Grove. He's brought to you by Conti Material Service, Bob Grossi Construction Incorporated, Stock Car Fabrication, Valverde's Restaurant, Wayne and Linda Folletta, Brand and Tire, Valley Enterprises, Action Floors, Ron Roach Signs, Richard Sansom, McSparren Auto Glass, Cullum's Concrete Pumping, Gillette Motorsports, Hendricks Cabinets, King T's Motorsports, and Harris Backhoe. That's Dave Burt. In the number 74 car, he's from Modesto. He's brought to you by Hotwood, Perco's Cafe, Legorio Communications, Monogram Magic, Boletto Auto Glass, Esco Caterpillar Repair, Pacifica Pizza, All American Powder Coating, Boletto's Ammons, Bob Panella Motorsports, AG Sign, Transmissions by Hal, The Bronze Body, CL Bryant, Valley Meat Company, and RW Appraisal. Last year's champion in this very division, hard charge and Harry Maletto. In the 05 car, he's from Roseville. He's brought to you by SBC Smart Yellow Pages, smartpages.com, Penny Racing Supply, Sacramento Prestige Gunite, Western Baylor and Conveyor, Kellogg Construction, Racing Stripes, Oakley Sports and Performance Wear, and Inventory Sales. That's Eric Smith. In the 62 car, brought to you by United Rentals, Valley Custom Cycles, Dos Okies Auto Sales, A&E Detailing, David Racing Products, Pacific Paving, CNH Williams, Freebird Racing Engines, and Lynn and Chrissy's Hot Cooking, in the number 62 car from Modesto, Kyle Gatula. In the 57 car from Lodi, brought to you by Meeks Building Center, Brandon Tire, Ellen Boss, Racing Heads, Winslow Motorsports, Performance Graphics, BJ McDonald, Racing Engines, and Deja Vu, Mike Garcia. In the zero car, we're glad to have him back out here at the racetrack. This guy is a lot of fun to watch. He is from Stockton. He is brought to you by HP Engines, Car Motorsports and Family, URacer.com, Chance of a Lifetime Racing School, and STS. He's driving the wild thing. He is the wild child. That's Jerry Crawford. In the 56 car, he's from Antioch. Put your hands together for Walt Haas. from Lodi in the number six car tonight. Give it up for Sean Wenzel. In the 05 car, he's from Stockton. He's brought to you by Roger Pilcher Trucking, STS, Grand Auto Sales, Driveline Service, Repco Towing, Pilcher Farms, and Car Motorsports Custom Race Cars. That's Dwight Pilcher. And in the number 95 car. <laughs> trying to find a hometown on this gentleman. I believe it's uh, Galt. I could be wrong. However, in the 95 car tonight, that's David Hogue. That's your field of Western late models. 
Elk Grove. David Hogue is from Elk Grove. I wasn't too far off. Elk Grove Golf. Well, welcome back, Dave Hogue. race developing out there between John Moore, Pete Anderson Jr., Harry Paletto, and the number 05 car, and the 9 car, man, oh man, 14, 15 laps down. I'm excited. John Moore is excited. Pete Anderson Jr. is excited.
Looks like Pete Anderson Jr. was not quite as excited as John Moore, or John Moore was much more excited in that uh, John Moore bolted out of there. It wasn't a nice start, wasn't even across the line. We'll see what they can do with it this time around. Anderson Jr.'s got his work cut out for him. Here comes Eric Smith. Jr. not giving up yet. Takes a look underneath the 05 car. Eric Schmidt putting some distance on the 5 car. Pete Anderson Jr. 